this is Cindy and I was I'm in the process of organizing my next journal the, the the Delft blue one that I'm really not going to get much time to work on between now and June but I was working on it and I thought you know I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my camera and you can see the process that I go through in putting together stuff getting stuff organized so I have a couple of piles here. I don't know if you can see them all. I have a pile over here of labels. Let me bring them into the camera, into view a little bit. There's a pile of labels. I have a pile of flowers that has kind of gotten intermixed in with a, a pile of, I don't know, I guess they're sort of labels as well, but they have words on them. These are ads. Here's another, these are more flowers, but they're round. These are more rectangular. And then I've got the heart shaped, which I think I'm going to put up with the round. I just put together this little envelope um, that is from a, a digital that I have downloaded. And then I have a couple of other digitals that I have printed out and put those there. So right now, these are some things that I fussy cut. And I am terrible at fussy cutting. I really, I'm just not good at it. Um, I probably would be better if I used an X-Acto knife rather than a scissors. But I usually am halfway through the project before I think about that. And so I am going around the edges. This is uh, Faded Jeans Archival Ink that I am using because this is a blue piece. And I'm going to call these both labels and put them with my labels. I'm not inking everything at this point because really what I'm doing is deciding. Actually, I'm not even deciding anything. I'm just organizing things. I have a bunch of these tabs that are fussy cut. I will make a pile of those. I have this card that I made before and I really do like it. Um, and I think I will probably go ahead and ink those edges. This was the background on this. This is just a, actually it's, it's going to have to go as a, it's got writing on the back of it. So it'll have to be a part of a decoration. And I don't know, I put it together a while ago but didn't know what I was going to use it in, and now I do. Now I know I'm going to put it in here. That stamp doesn't feel very strong. So I will use that as something. This is a card, but I really like the colors with this. It fits the colors, mostly. I don't know if this fits the colors, so I'm going to set it off to the side. Um, these are a couple of... That's just a plain card, so they could be used for something. I think this was part of a full page, and I cut it out. So I have some more flowers that are a, more the flower color that I'm looking for. I'm going to put those there. I like that. So because this is a blank piece, I'm just going to set it over with that. I have a really pretty butterfly here that's in this same colors. I'll put it with my birds. And then I have these four cards that I had cut out before that could be, I could make tags out of those pretty easily. So I'll put those down there. More of these. I did a lot of fussy cutting. Uh, not all of these will be used, but these are all the fussy cuts that I did. And that goes with that. A couple more of those flowers. And this is one of the journal pages that I had started to play with. I have, in the process of making a folder, I'll take that out of there at the moment. I cut the pieces for it and haven't put it together yet because I wasn't sure what all I wanted to do. So I think I will put that together very shortly. I'm going to set that off to the side. We'll put that together. I don't know if I'll do it on camera or not. But And then these, remember that scrapbooking uh, calendar that I got? These are all pieces out of there that will make good backgrounds. 
There's a really nice set of backgrounds. So those will go in. Okay, then I have words. Enjoy it all. Oh, that's really nice. I like that. We'll stick that up with the backgrounds. Be fearless. This doesn't say anything. It could actually go any which way. It's a six by six, but it is in the right colors-ish, depending upon which ones I use. See, this is part of the problem. I've got blues are not that easy to match. So I'm going to take these out because I won't be using those at all. Be kind, uh, kind heart, strong mind, brave spirit. Yeah, I won't use those. Won't use that. What's underneath it? There's two things there. Oh, that might use that. That's kind of got a neat peacock on. Okay, those need to be fussy cut. I'll put that in my fussy cut pile. That needs to be fussy cut. Yeah. Okay, I have some small tags. Oh, those are just plain white. All right. So those are to be decorated. Set that over here. I Like I said, I have been collecting this stuff for a while. I like these grids. All of these have a grid on them. They go with the grids on these. Uh, obviously all from the same piece. I'm going to put those in front. No, it's not quite the same piece. Matching blues is probably one of the hardest things to do. That's a pretty blue. Okay, that's one of my husband's paintings. I uh, scanned in a picture of it and then played around with the picture, pixelated it up a little bit, and basically just had fun with it. And then, of course, when I cut it out for the fussy cutting, I was using my older, now defunct cutter. Let's go ahead and blue that up around the edges. This is just a um, piece of his painting. It's not the whole painting. And like I said, I played around with the image a little bit just to kind of, because I liked the colors in it and I thought the colors might fit. Okay, I'm going to put you with that, even though you don't actually, you know what, that kind of, the colors go more with this. I think I'm going to put that over there. I'm I'm separating things out, trying to figure out what goes where. There's that pretty butterfly. What did I do with my butterfly? I put it down here. And it is not exactly the same color. It's the same butterfly, but it didn't print exactly the same. Mostly because I've been having trouble with my printer. Uh, just so you know what's going on with my printer... HP decided recently that they wanted you to use only their cartridges. I've had this printer probably, we were trying to figure it out the other day. I think I've had this printer eight or nine years. It's an older printer. I mostly print black and white with it um, because I print out my manuscripts uh, and other pieces that we need. So mostly I print black and white with it, but when I do my color digitals, which most of these are, it prints pretty well. I, although, like I, I may have mentioned this in a previous video, lately it's been giving me a red splotch of it. Well, it ran out of yellow the other day, so I put in a new yellow cartridge and the entire thing stopped working. I mean, completely. I keep getting error messages that tell me that it is... Um, it doesn't have the, it doesn't have any ink cartridges in it when it really means it doesn't have any HP cartridges in it. I bought knockoffs because they're a whole lot cheaper and they have been obviously working just fine until recently when my printer kind of got a little funky. So I was kind of in, in the back of my head was thinking about the fact that I might need a new printer and then HP pulled this garbage. I will never buy another HP. If you're going to come into my computer and turn off my printer and make it a brick because I don't have your cartridges in it, sorry, you don't have I no brand loyalty here. I will be buying, looks like an Epson Echo Tank. 
everybody keeps telling me the echo tanks are really good so i think that's what i'm going to be leaning towards i have this other little tab that i really like but this one as opposed to these which was printed on white paper this one was printed on ecru so i don't know if it's going to match but i'm going to put it with my tabs anyway just so it's in a spot and then there are these pieces that are from a kit um, a, not a digital kit these are from scrapbook paper and then I have all of these sentiments which can work really nicely as pieces to put in and then I have all of these tall pieces as well so those these don't have any words on them I'm going to put those up with that and these have words on them they're not all from the same kit that's from a different one that's from a different one and then there's some littler ones i'm gonna put those up on top so those are pieces that can go in i also have a bunch of tags that a friend made uh i did a that one doesn't quite fit the same color does it there's everything else i may go put that one away there's that one and this one which are absolutely beautiful but i think i may set those aside because these fit the right colors anyway these are some tags that i'm keeping and so now i've got to figure out what to do now what comes next is saying okay which pieces do i want to use which pieces don't i want to use i've already taken out a few um i have like i said a couple different color schemes going on here mostly no those were printed on on white that's printed on white so these so let's let's divide them up into color schemes here now those go together and these hang on these certainly go together don't know about you not sure about you you guys all go together so you can go in the same key that pile i have all of these little blue labels and I think depending upon how I use the labels, I can keep them all. So we'll put that in the keep pile. I really like you, but I don't think you're going to fit the color scheme. So I'm going to set you aside. You're, you're a goner. I really like you guys. I don't know if you fit the color scheme. You could. You definitely go here. Mm, depending upon what I put behind you. You might. So we'll put those over there and that there. Okay. Of these, I'm just going to keep all of these out because I will. I may take pieces out of them. I have to cut the dates off and then we'll see what we have left. So I'm going to keep those in here as possible backgrounds. I have these really pretty. This is a set. It's kind of a fairy set. It says moon on it. This one has the phases of the moon. There is a fairy there and some stars. I think I'm going to go more floral. So I'm setting you aside. I know, that's hard. I'm going to keep all of you guys, even though you don't quite match, we just won't put you necessarily in the same spot in the journal. So we're going to go ahead and keep you. I'm going to make a pile here of all the things I'm keeping. So those are all the pieces that will definitely go into it um hmm not sure these are all from the same kit those are all from the same kit okay of these i keep checking to see what color it was on the back to see if in fact i printed it funny and maybe just need a new printing that's more of a delft blue this is more of a midnight blue i really think these guys all go together really well so i think i'm going to set those aside and you three seem to be your own thing you don't quite fit so i'm going to set you aside okay we have this other pile here that has some really pretty blue cornflowers in it that might end up finding a spot I'll, I'll hang on to it but i'm not overly fond of it these i love these but they don't quite fit do they okay 
Let me pull my stuff out again because in, in the smaller scheme of things, that blue might not bother me as much. Okay. You know, I'm beginning to think that maybe you're the one that doesn't fit. Let me pull you out for a minute. And the rest of you do. Okay, we're going to keep these. Um, I think you have to go with the other cornflowers. Oh, and I really like you. You're one that I hand painted. This is a, a stamp that I then watercolor penciled the inside and then brought it out and just was playing around with things. Um, I don't know if that it really fits these colors. You know what? I'll throw it in there for now and then we can always change our mind, right? Okay, we're going to keep all the labels. We're going to keep all of you guys together at the moment, even though you don't fit and I won't use you. I'm going to keep you here because you're with my blue labels. Um, I really like that blue, though. I really like that blue. Does it go more with this? Yeah, it does, doesn't it? All right. We'll put that together. Put that over there. Okay, these pieces from... These these are some of my base pieces. So, yeah, we're going to keep these. Um, I will put those in a longer frame thingy. This is just a blank, so we're going to go ahead and keep the blank. Since we don't really know what we're doing with that, we still have these. I haven't decided about it. Okay, over here I have a big pile of papers. These obviously go together. Do they go? I guess I keep going back to you. They might go. They might not. You definitely go. Definitely keep. Definitely keep. Okay, those are all definites. That's a real pretty blue in there, but it might not. Yeah, it may fit, it may not. We'll we'll keep it for now. And I already have a bunch of you guys, so I know I want to keep you. I'll just slide you under there. You're kind of big. Um, we'll keep you. We'll keep. And this is a, kind of a purpley blue writing. That'll make a nice background somewhere. So we'll keep all of that. I'm going to keep my card. You know, I don't really know what I'm doing with it. All right. So now I have these are finished cards. So we're going to keep those, and they're, they, they're going to stay in their own little container. So I have finished cards. I have things to make cards out of. These are things to, to work on and to play with. I have more things to play with. And I have more things to play with. So these are all pieces that are going to be kept. I think I'm going to put you guys over here. So this could be another entire... I, you know what? I'm going to go. I'm going to keep that. I probably won't use it, but I'm going to keep it. But these definitely all fit in the same uh, family. So we're going to keep those out here. These all fit in the same family. Uh, so we'll keep those as a separate piece. And what I'll do with these is I will uh, just find a little baggie to put these in and I will keep them together as uh, so that I don't have to go through the separating again. But we'll keep all of that later. All right, so those are all for a different time. I also have ribbon. I have this ribbon and I have this ribbon. Obviously, they don't match. Which ribbon might I use? Oh, look at that. Doesn't that match nicely? Okay, we're going to throw that ribbon right in there. I'm going to hang on to that, and we'll probably put that away. Okay, that's garbage. Those are all to be filed elsewhere. Set that up there, and let's go ahead and put this little fold together. I don't remember who I was watching. They were doing a fold, and I thought it was really cute, and I liked it. And then I tried to do it, and I ended up doing it very differently. But I still like it. And so I'm going to go ahead and... And then what I did was on the pattern, 
on the paper, on the page, this is a piece of, just, this is just a scrapbook paper. This is nothing fancy. This is, let me get my glue book out here because I want to do some gluing and flip all those guys over. So we're leaving tomorrow for Alora. Um, I actually, by the time I post this, and I want to do this as a, do I want to do it this way? No, I think I do want to do it this way. I'm just going to do this as a tuck. So we are leaving tomorrow for Alora. I'm going to pause my video for a moment so I can talk to my husband. Okay, I'm back. We had a nice little quickie conversation. You know, that's what you do when you're married. You have quickie conversations sometimes. So I'm just putting a little bit of glue down here to put that. And I'm just going to do this as a tuck. I'm coming pretty close to the edge without coming exactly to the edge. Where's my... There it is. I need a little bit of... This I have just just to wipe that edge a little bit because I came very close to the edge with some of that glue. All right, so one down. Let's do the other one. Yeah, so we're leaving for Alora and we're going to be in Alora and there is a craft store in Guelph that I will be visiting. Um, I saw it on the internet. And I'm thinking it's a craft store. You watch me. Okay, let's straighten that up. There we go. So, the, yeah, this is a modified version of what I saw as far as um, a folder that was somebody was doing and I, I'm afraid I don't remember who it was and I just wanted to play around and see what we could do and then I found this paper and it had this pattern in it and I said well there we go we're gonna so I, I cut in the edges just double check make sure I can get any glue out here we're good Get rid of that. And now there's this little tag that can easily go into a pocket. But when you pull the tag out, there's stuff inside. Isn't that fun? So we'll decorate the front and all of that. I'm not doing that today. I do have lots of stuff I can decorate with, however. Uh, and I will be doing that at a later time. I just wanted to pretty much get things organized so that when I get back from Alora, uh, actually when I get back from Alora, we're running down to Cumberland, Maine, Maryland, <laughs> sorry, Cumberland, Maryland. And then we will be coming back from that. And then it's the festival and I'll be selling my junk journals in Waterloo, New York, which thankfully is 15 minutes away. Waterloo is a short trip down Route 96, not a problem. We're going to be there on Saturday and Sunday, the last Saturday and Sunday of May. And then on Monday, which is Memorial Day, I'm going to collapse. It's going to be a long haul between now and that Monday. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to uh, get some packing done make sure you hit the subscribe button hit the like button uh, button as well if you liked this video make sure that you click on the little bell to get a notification every time i put a new video up although at this point i don't expect a new video to go up maybe i'll get one done for next week but don't hold your breath it might not be until June at this point. I might have to take a hiatus here from doing the videos. In the meantime, have a great end of the spring and early summer. This is Cindy signing off.